Hey guys, welcome to another video by Indian Coin View. So today I am going to do some fun activity that is to make a coin flip. Now everyone is having a lot of time, they are just sitting in their home and getting bored sometimes. So as a numismat is what I thought of is to make some coin flips. Now you can see here a normal coin flip which is available in market. It comes in a good condition and good shape and everything. But now I don't know whether you are able to get it. So let us make one and see whether we are able to make this kind of coin flip. And for that we need a scissor, a pen, a scale and a glue. Glue you can take any kind of glue and everything. And the next thing you need for that is a uh, binding paper, the hard cover of a notebook. Like any notebook, normal notebook, hard cover, which is like you have a lot of notebooks at your home, which must be like used. The next thing is a uh, plastic sheet, like plain plastic transparent sheet you need to take from some place. Like it can be of anything, but any quality, but make, make sure that it's clean. Next thing is a white paper and that's it. A4 size paper, that's it. That's all you need to do. So let's start by making some markings so you know this coin flip is of a size of 2 by 2 right so for making that this 2 by 2 means uh, 2 inches by 2 inches like length will be 2 inches and breadth will be 2 inches so we have to make a marking of 4 inches first like to uh, to make it like a flip um, to make it like a flip you have to mark like four inches first so what i'm doing is to mark in a two inch first in this portion and again like adding another two inch on the top of that so this will be like four inch length that i am taking for this thing and then i'll be taking the width as two inch only because we don't have to take the four inch it's only for the length you so we can fold it and make it like a flip that's why so i'm marking two inches here and so on the top of that also i'm like marking a two inches just to make a straight line uh, through which we can like mark and cut it out so now yeah you can see this i'm making it closer so now i'm drawing that line straight so from there to there yeah here it goes and now i think the line is visible so the next thing is that to mark another four inches from the bottom like from the end side you have to mark another uh, four inches there which is like two for one side and two for another and like connect both ends like there is one dot already which we have put in the beginning so we have made this rectangular form of like sheet here like we have drawn a rectangular sheet in the hard cover of the notebook so i'm marking another two inches just to make the center line here we like in this line we like fold the flip so now we can like take it and cut it out yeah so make sure that you cut it out very carefully and neatly like i i don't think i'll be able to do it as clean as possible as i wish but uh, when if you're doing it as clean as possible you will be getting something very closer to the flip that i have shown so i have cut it out now the next thing i'm going to do is to like bend it like like uh, fold it in half and like make sure that the fold is like very clear and everything fold it in the other way also so that it can be like yeah make sure that it comes in the proper center and everything like adjust the edges and everything so yeah you can see that this is coming in a great shape yeah so the next thing that we have to do is to paste this particular sheet on a white paper so this is an optional thing i'm pasting it on a white paper just to make the flip to see like neatly and everything so i'm taking the glue applying it you can use any kind of glue for you know, sticking it uh, i am just using a glue that i'm having so spread it in like in a very nice manner and make sure that you like spread it in the edges only you don't have to like spread a lot in the center because at the end of the day we will be like cutting it out we'll be take like cutting the center out so Make sure that you put the uh, like the glue uh, in a very proper manner in the edges and just paste it on the white paper like in the edges 
very neatly you have stick it properly so once this is done we can actually now cut it out now i am taking the scissor and cutting it out yeah very slowly take your time and cut it out properly so once this is done yeah let's see yeah so now i have cut it out now take that thing again and uh, stick it again just make sure that this has come properly now fold it again so that the paper will, will be also folded now you can see it is like a kind of coin flip without a hole now the next part is to put a hole in the center so for that i am taking a scale and marking a one inch that is the center of each side so that we can put the coin in the exact center of the flip and make this particular hole in the center so i'm putting marking one inch here one inch here also this side also i am marking one inch yeah where is it yeah one inch here also and yeah in the fourth side also i am marking one inch so now i am like joining all these markings so it forms like a cross or a yeah it forms like a cross shape so now the next thing is that just take the coin the for which we are making the fit put it in the center take the pencil again and just mark the outer borders of the coin like draw the circle or whatever the shape of the coin just do that so if you are doing it for like very old and rare coins i suggest you to like take normal common coins and do do this marking so that you can like preserve this thing now you see in the circle we have made this thing uh, so next thing i am doing is to like cut the circle out so i am making a pore here make sure that uh, you are not going to hurt yourself if kids are watching this take assistance from any elder or your parents to make this just make this kind of a small hole then cut it out be very careful that you don't get hurt by yourself while doing this don't blame that oh i have thrown this and now i am hurt please take the best care while doing this be very careful now then you should cut this thing out so the neater you cut it out the best way the flip will be coming out so i am i don't know i'm not able to cut it so neatly but it's very easy like some people can if the people who are who can use the precision knife for a thermocol cutter it will be better to cut it out i am just using the scissor because i don't have a precision knife for a thermocol cutter now so once one side is like over we have cut out one side make a, a drawing using that particular side on the other side also because we have to see the both sides of the coin right so i'm making an another circle here now i have taken the scissor i am like following the same process again be cautious uh, don't get hurt by yourself while doing this so yeah now we are cutting it out so make sure that you cut out very neatly mm, like then as neatly as possible so that it will be like looking like a very nice and pretty complex so yeah i have cut out this part also now you can see there are like some portions here and there which is like projecting inwards i'm just like shaping a little bit out of here so yeah that's it that's how i am like cutting it out that's how it's fine i think so the second side also i am like cutting a little bit out so that our coin will be like fitting properly yeah so this is fine i think yeah the side also a little bit is here and there hmm that's okay i think so yeah uh, there is also some little bit projections so once that is done you can see the next thing we have to do is to take the transparent sheet that we have kept aside in the beginning and make a marking like as big as this particular shape so i am making a marking like this and putting it over taking my pen making a marking like this side and here also i am making a marking 
so we are actually not going to stick this to this particular thing but we just need to keep the coin inside this and flip it out so in the beginning as i said make sure that this is a transparent and clear sheet and neat sheet please don't like uh, keep any sheet with some foreign object or some kind of mud or some food waste and everything sticking on that it will like ruin your coin make sure that you have a clean sheet and if you are not having a clean transparency clean it use a soaping water or any cleaning agent make sure that you are cleaning it properly and doing it so now i am like cutting it out since we only need a 2 by 2 so yes and now we are having a uh flip like this i mean the portion like this so yeah that's it so in the next thing that we are doing is uh putting in the flip inside this yeah yeah you can see that i have put the flip now i place the coin there and then i'm like just closing it like that So now you can see wait wait a second I'm just keeping it properly yeah you can see that I have put the coin like properly now you just need to slide staple it so I'm not pasting this plastic sheet to this thing I'm just putting the coin inside and making it the coin is getting allayed correctly in the center and just stapling it and boom there you go you have a like almost good coin flip there just cut out the extra positions or anything if there is anything So yeah I think that's a pretty neat and easy coin flip you should try this at home since you are like free for a lot of time this will help you keep your coins like safely and everything yeah let me know what you think about this through the comments and if you like this video if you find this video helpful just give me a like and subscribe to my channel I'll be coming up with more interesting video till then bye bye bye